Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Bill Wilkins at the Oak Creek Home Center. Uh, today, we're starting the first of a three-part series uh, that we hope that you'll find helpful. Um, it's called From Our Couch to Yours, and it's a um, kind of a walkthrough on the process of, of purchasing a manufactured home, some of the things that you can um, expect to find out or things that you should look for. And hopefully we'll be able to equip you with a few of the different things that, that can make the, the journey a little bit easier for you. Uh, so this morning what I wanted to do, or this afternoon what I wanted to do is just kind of go through a list of things with you uh, that I would recommend to you as a uh, potential uh, buyer, uh, someone that's looking for a home, considering manufactured housing. I just want to let you know that, that today's manufactured homes are definitely not what you uh, are accustomed to in years gone by. Uh, you know, I always tell people, you know, Dorothy, we're, we're not in Kansas anymore. Um, things have changed so much uh, in our industry with the type of technologies, the, the construction processes that we go through. And I just really want to uh, kind of give you some feedback on that and answer questions. And I want you to know, y'all are welcome to answer questions during the broadcast. We'd be very, very happy to to answer questions for you. Uh, modern manufactured homes or factory built homes uh, come with a wide range of amenities and features. Um, many of them are, uh, have the ability to be customized and, and you can kind of almost personalize a home the way that you specifically want it and the way that you need it for your home. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick just the home that we're in in a little bit. Uh, to, to highlight some of that, uh, this is called the Homestead model. Uh, it's one of our uh, real popular family series of homes. I'll kind of share that with you. Uh, but I want to want to kind of give you a look at that. Now, when you go to a dealership, there's some different things that we feel like you should have uh, prepared and ready when you come into that dealership so that you can make your experience uh, more beneficial for you um, and more comfortable. Uh, you're going to find out that there's a very wide range, a wide variety of home styles, shapes, and sizes uh, to pick from with a lot of different options and that kind of thing. And it doesn't really matter if you're, if you're looking for a home, if this is a first-time home buyer. Uh, we'd love to have you guys come in and, and kind of take a look at it because the, the factory-built homes, manufactured homes, are one of the best ways to begin your process or begin your career, I often tell people, of, of owning homes. Um, that's where I got started. I started many years ago with a manufactured home uh, when I lived up in Alaska and uh, have kind of graduated through the years. I've been through everything from, from single section manufactured homes, multi-section, custom built homes, and now I'm back in my own Oak Creek, and I have been for the last 18 years, and I just love it. Um, so let's take a look at the process that I think is beneficial to use as you go through uh, researching uh, the purchase of a manufactured home. And I just want to convey that there's some different steps to go through. Uh, one of the things that we've tried to do to help you in that is we've developed a, a form that is available for you. Uh, this form here, I know it's backwards on the screen, uh, but it's uh, 19 uh, questions to think about when you consider purchasing a manufactured home. And we're happy to provide this form to you. All you have to do is just say, hey, send me that form about the questions. Uh, you can do it in the comments or you can go to oakcreekhomes.com uh, there and you can uh, look them up and they'll, they'll reply to you there. But it's a really handy little thing to go through. So some of the key things when, when you're going in to talk to a dealership, you want to have in mind roughly about how many bedrooms and baths that you want to have. Are you looking for more of a, a, a great uh, great room, open floor plan, or do you like to have some definition between the rooms? Uh, those are all things that are important. I like to ask my customers when they come in, what would you consider is the most important aspect of your home? What is the key central part? And for some people it's the kitchen, for some it's the living room, some it's the master bedroom. But guys, you need to have an idea and be able to convey that to your home consultant about the things that are important to you in a home. Specifically, we need you to identify any special needs, 
if you have a particular furniture arrangement that has to be accommodated, those sorts of things uh, are really helpful to your home consultant. The next thing that, that I would recommend that you do is kind of have an idea on budget. Uh, budget can, uh, can really vary. Uh, again, as I mentioned, I really think that the factory built homes, manufactured homes and modular homes are an excellent way to begin to build home equity and be able to experience home ownership at the most reasonable cost uh, in the marketplace, uh, especially when you consider the efficiency of the factory production, but we'll kind of get into all that stuff. I'm a, I'm a real big believer in them. So when you are uh, in the process of kind of determining a budget, uh, my recommendation is that you talk to your home consultant. Most of our home consultants will be able to guide you uh, through a preliminary budget analysis and give you an idea of what is in the realm of possibility and what kind of capacity you might have for a payment. Just a general rule of thumb that I use is typically you can anticipate a payment being roughly between 0.8 and 1% of the amount that you're going to borrow. Um, and, and within that, you should be able to uh, arrive at a rough and general idea of where you need to be on budget. Uh, another thing that we want to talk about today, just real quickly, is choosing a builder. Um, there are a lot of different builders in the market, and I'm, if you've done any shopping at all, you're going to run across, uh, you know, talk to five home consultants, you're going to get five different answers that they think they're the best, and they should. Um, we, we typically like to tell you we have a way that we can prove it, and we'll show you that when you come to an Oak Creek Home Center at one of our 18 locations. Um, but when you choose a, a builder, my recommendation is to find somebody that you feel comfortable with, somebody that, that builds a rapport and, and tries to listen to what you have to say about what your needs are and kind of that shopping list we talked about generating before you make a visit to the dealership. Uh, you know, nobody likes to run into a salesperson that is just focused on earning a commission. Um, you know, we're, we're in this to help you, and, and if you don't feel that you're being serviced and you don't feel like you're being helped, man, there are a lot of options out there for, for dealerships, and, and uh, you know, we, we would certainly like an opportunity to talk to you. Um, it's important that you've defined for your home consultant what your priorities are, and then you need to also make sure as much as you can that that dealership reflects those same priorities. If yours is uh, construction, do they have a good grasp of the knowledge of how their homes are built and what makes their home stand out? Uh, Oak Creek has some fabulous construction components and aspects of the, of the homes. When you visit a center, you will be impressed uh, with the way that these homes are built. Um, so you want to kind of uh, be on the lookout for a builder also that has good communication skills. Do they keep you informed about what's going on and, and the processes and the steps that, that you go through? And then the next thing we want to do, once you've kind of uh, gone through that selection of, of dealership, and I recommend that you do check the Google reviews. It's always fun to hear and see what other people have experienced that have gone before you uh, so that you can kind of get an idea of what you can expect. When we go into actually finding your home, uh, what we like to do is listen to some of the things that you have uh, in mind for your home and for your family. Uh, share that with us, and then our job is kind of, we're on a, on a search and, and rescue mission. We're on a search and, and find mission where we go out and we try and present to you the homes that most closely match up with the criteria that you've given your home consultant. When you're in that interview process, I know that it is... Uh, Oftentimes, um, kind of we've been trained not to give up too much information. But guys, I want to tell you, man, when you're talking to your home consultant, that is an important decision, and your home consultant needs to have information. So don't be bashful about telling them what the story is, what your housing is like now, what is it about your home that isn't meeting your needs, and what you're looking for to satisfy that need. That is critical information. I mean, after all, you wouldn't you wouldn't go to the doctor and tell the doctor to guess what's wrong or guess what's ailing you. Um, we can't have that kind of communication going on at, at our home centers. We, we really truly do want to know how we can help you and we need you to tell us uh, how to do that. 
The next step after you've kind of discovered your, your shopping list, you've uh, fleshed out a little bit of where your budget is um, and have arrived at a dealership and shared that information, that's when the fun begins. And you get to go out and kind of discover your new dream home. And it is really exciting to go out and compare homes. Uh, I always tell people we want to look for the things that we like. We want to look for the things that we don't like. And eventually we will find spot on that home that you're looking for. So what I want to do today is kind of show you some of the things here in this homestead to give you an example of a few of the things that I feel like you can look for in a home uh, that may, may meet your tastes and, and may pique your interest. So I'm going to flip the camera around, so pardon my reaching at the camera, but I'm going to flip the camera around so I can kind of show you a little bit more about this home we call the homestead uh, and let you view it. Whoops. Okay, the home that we're in is a three-bedroom, two-bath home, just under 1,600 square feet. Uh, and it is a home that's presented with a great room. Uh, we've got a floating entertainment center here on the wall. Uh, that's an option that's available to you. Another feature that builders are starting to put into the homes, uh, a lot of people didn't know we could do this, and that's the tray ceiling that adds a lot of dimension to this home. Now our homes are built with the LED lights you'll see featured here. Uh, this particular home has full tape and texture finish sheetrock, uh, ceiling fans mounted, overhead vents, so you've got the freedom for uh, furniture placement. But just look how pretty this floor is, how nice this home opens up. It's an extremely clean look. Uh, the big windows there at the dining area uh, are really popular. It brings in a lot of light and a lot of uh, depth to the home. Kind of move across, and this is a view of that kitchen. Now, who wouldn't like that thing? I mean, it's gorgeous. Now, some of the things that we've done in here, uh, components to look for in your home, are, are the cabinet construction. Uh, Oak Creek uses all wood cabinet doors, wood cabinet styles. You'll also see the subway tile backsplash goes full height up underneath that designer vent hood that's over the top. The uh, bar's uh, countertop area is uh, gives you plenty of seating space. So it's just a, a really, really nice look. Drawer over door construction. The list goes on and on and on. You know, basically things that you would look for in any home you should be able to find in your factory built home. We've got the big stainless steel sink. You've got choices of different appliances and uh, you can do stainless steel. We even have a refrigerator we call the Sidekick, which gives you the big uh, double-sided refrigerator. In, si in terms of uh, different layout possibilities, this is the floor plan of the we're home we're in right now. And I want you to look at this. Now, this is a single great room that's got the big great room here that goes all the way across. But some families need to have two living areas. So we've modified our plan so that you can have the big great room, and then we add the second family room. Uh, it gives the opportunity. This actual floor plan can expand out from a three-bedroom out to a five-bedroom floor plan for you. So, folks, if you guys are looking for uh, options and availability of different features, that kind of thing, uh, the ability to customize and, and personalize a home, we would invite you to come to one of our 18 um, Oak Creek Home Centers. You can check us out at oakcreekhomes.com, uh, and there you'll be able to get a list of the different dealerships that may be near you. Again, I want to encourage you, if you would like to have a copy of the paperwork that I was telling you about, we'd be happy to provide that to you as well. And I really appreciate you joining me today for the first session of the process of buying a manufactured home. Just to kind of recap, we want to develop a shopping list for, for your home consultant so that they know what it is that they are uh, assigned to go find for you. The second thing is determine what your budget is ahead of time and visit with your home consultant about that so that they can make sure that they're guiding you to the right homes. The next thing is when you choose a builder, choose someone that communicates well, that reflects the uh, importance and the priorities that you have, and then have some fun when you go out and find your dream home. Uh, be sure that you get what you need 
because you're going to be living in this home for a while. And the great thing is with factory built homes, you can actually afford more home for the money uh, and just live super comfortable. I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, we will be doing another set on this series next week, same time, same bat channel, uh, here at 3 p.m. at the Oak Creek Homes Facebook page. We're going to go live. We're going to go into some more detail on the financing components of the home and some things that you can kind of expect through the financing process uh, and try and give you some guidance on that. So don't forget to request a copy of the buyer's checklist uh, and uh, things to look for in a dealership. Those forms are available for free, no charge, no obligation. Uh, we just want to get the information out. This is Bill Wilkins at the Oak Creek Home Center. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the, the broadcast and join us next week and tell a few friends about it. Y'all stay safe out there, stay healthy, uh, and we'll see you next week.